And welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2, episode 50, oh, 60. Oh, we're, we're up to 60, wow. So, um... Uh, started another episode straight away. I actually didn't end up needing this, this, or this, so or the lever for testing. Um, but I did need the hardened, bl uh, hardened fluid ducts and the servo that I returned because now I need to get them working. I should actually get the other ducts and everything, but I don't really need them just as yet. That's at 53, so that's nicely. And I grab one when I actually needed three. I don't know, does that auto output it? It does too. So I actually don't need that. So I was hoping that would work. But the problem is it won't kick off because this is this didn't resend that signal. So I'm not gonna push it through just as yet. Because if I do that once it's going to send this signal and that's it. So I need to attach this, bring it down, and attach it to here. But now this should be one more, and this should come on. If this light doesn't come on, and then I will cry. And the light's on. No more dropping. We are set on 65, which is amazing. Now, I'm wondering, because if I tell that to go in there, this will fill up every single slot of this which is fine but it will just constantly chew it up if I have three of these so oh actually I might oh no they're right on the edge so that's fine because the next one will be actually here so I want it as well, actually I could do the readers on the other side this way move that to go around same with the pipe and then I can have the other one right here Another fluid dropper here, here, and here. So yeah, I could I could make this hell compact, and then wrap it around here on this side, and only have it facing this way. Or I could wrap it around and have four, and then just do them in batches like that. Hmm, we'll see. Anyway, so we need to get this running because I don't want this to fill up with the crystallized oil just as yet. Because once that fills up it will clog the system and then I need to make the next one so if I do it here and this comes down by three so one two three it'll actually fit in really nicely with this setup the other one was actually actually it was the same size it was and depth so I actually know I think it might have been one extra on one of the sides but anyway we will continue on um, that is working perfectly how I wanted it so now I will run off and I will get more item ducts but I believe I'm actually quite out of them so I need tin and lead so let's grab three of uh, three five I can't count and ten of these now I will probably upgrade these to um, uh, the next ones I can't remember the name of them impulse ducts so uh, we will end up getting them running and that will try and pick it up but it can't because it is locked to that so we're currently going to have hit into this problem so I'll just go down an extra one come and wrap it around and plug it into the side so for me that is no biggie so here now the only problem with this I have never done it Two down but since that line is in the way we will find out how so bam so I know this will probably take a while for it all to fill up and everything but it will fill up over time so okay, right, there we go I can reach so we will build If we build it, will they come? Actually, that's where I want it to go, don't I? So, we want it to come across like this. Now, it shouldn't connect to that, because that's classed as a fluid. There we go. 
and it's going to start making more because it is I will leave that it just sent all of that over to here I, I well it'll, it'll get there I mean considering I need to lock that as well so let's just wait till it does some more and there we go done okay so this will eventually get in here so I'm just gonna let it fill up it's not gonna be a big issue it'll just take a while to fill up and then yeah we just need to keep an eye on that these don't actually um, empty out so I think I put both of them have upgrades so let's have a look yeah so they have huge amount of upgrades but the problem is if we run out we're going to be stuffed so we're going to make sure we'll probably have to make another one so I thought they would have been full by now but yeah they they've been used so um, let's see so there's, there's nothing in there it's just empty I'll probably I should put a stack limiter in there and just smash it up more too but this will fill this one up and if I can get one running and then this one will actually stay off because this is flickering on and off we've got heaps of fuel but if this ever runs really low and this one can't handle it then this big one will kick in hopefully so if it doesn't work like that then I don't know what I'm going to do I'll probably work out another way to do it like having a back up second one if that kicks in and then kick the system on so but we'll work it out so now we need to actually make three more of these or one of each of them and then we'll need three more riders and one more block reader I can make the block reader but I can't make these ones because I need the, uh, another piston then I need to do exactly what I did here but with the next one across with different sets and IDs so that's going to be good so now this is actually be running this is full so let's see what to what next well we know what next to do we need to make more precision droppers um, so we need some more palace I don't know how many we need I think it might have been one but we will do this It wasn't RF tools, that's why I'm looking stupid. Okay, so we need so fluid placer, which requires an auto placer, which one of them. So that is easy. We need some of them, and we'll need some black quartz. This stuff here. Um, actually, forgot completely all about this. Oh, render bug. We are coming very nicely along in here. Very nicely. Still only two Eulorium, so that's kind of sad, but you can get that. Um, I'm going to have to make draws by the look of it for these main ones. Um, yeah, that's going to require some. At least look at this. Look at this. 33 and 27. That is awesome. And coal. So we're doing really well. So that's good. I'm quite happy with that. So we do this and lag. We will make two of these because I can't remember how many we actually need. Um, so fluid placer, we need some more. More buckets. More buckets. Have any on me, but I'm pretty sure we need more buckets. So, yeah, we need another dropper. So, grab another dropper, and we need one of these. So, we need eight of these, and we need a stack of string, which we don't have. So, let's go bone mule. I don't know, that, that should be enough to get at least a stack. No, 
this one. Okay. And this is the boring part. Grinding this. I mean, we should be able to have all this automated. I'm going to try and do the farm. I don't know if um, the farm requires manual or automatic placement, but if it does require manual placement, uh, the manual placement is like I can manually place it and then it automatically picks up and continues on because I don't think I have anything that requires replanting as we got part, uh, Pam's Auto, Pam's, Pam's Harvest, that's the one, installed. Um, missing the dropper. So one of you, and then that is a automatic precision dropper, which we need that because we need to convert the red crystals into um, uh, yeah, re uh, the red ones into the third canola set. Uh, not the, yeah, the red crystals. Um, uh, I have it open. Uh, you on that? Uh, yeah, here this one here into the empowered canola seed, which needs the three empowerers of the three, five empowerers, well four empowerers, and then this is empowerer. So we need to get that set up um, for this. So that's why I said I may steal these ones. Um, and then rebuild them because I shouldn't need any more, but we'll find out. Now we need a fluid placer, which we need some more of these, which we need some more of them. So I will just convert 54 because we're constantly using them at this current time. So. fluid placer and we need a palace and there's our plates oh, I made a second one oh, I am Sparta and we need one of you it made me sad that's okay because we'll end up using us uh, making another set anyway but for now I have the two buckets and I need another coil and there's the other coil and there is the fluid collector so I will quickly grab some more cobble Okay, so this will end up being the same, literally identical. I'm going to put a spot between it, so one, two, three, and then come out like this. I wonder if I can actually do cable covers or something like that on top, or facades. Let's have a quick check. I have spares, so let's have a quick check and a laugh, because if this works, it's just going to be awesome. Uh, I think it was this one here. Oops, maybe this way. See, the problem is, is there's none in there. There's none in there, and I haven't automated this across yet. So you would think by now they would that would produce a lot but I'm guessing canola seeds aren't as good let's see if I can put these down and the answer is no so that's not that that's not gonna be cool but that's okay okay so we want to make this look like the other side so let's see if I can jump down here and unless I move that block, I will actually know that won't work at all. So let's do that. Let it spread a little. And we'll bring this out. And pick 
that up, don't pick it up while you're in it because you will go for a swim. Unless you got flight. Okay, let's just fall down there now. And at least it spawned a squid. Okay, so put that there. So we want the green one. Oh, actually, that's I didn't make the fluid placer. Ah, I was halfway through doing it, realised it did too, and then I forgot to finish it because I needed another two buckets. So that doesn't do what I thought it would do. I don't know what that button does. Anything I can think of is reverse. Like that. Now the auto placer, I don't know anything. I probably could use the auto placer and mechanical user to destroy stuff, but at the moment, no. So there's the front. Okay, and then there's the la our second one. And just expand this out a little and put that there and then put the collector there so this is how they all look so we'll just cover them up for now and then we'll need more of this which I know I need more because I used a lot of it here um, and then we'll just come straight across pretty much and hook it up and I'll need another block reader and uh, redstone riders so let's do that and this is the stuff out here that I need so I'll just snag all this grab that okay so we'll need redstone that's one of the big things that this used was redstone and now we will do NT. Okay, so we need three of these, but we need another piston. So let's make the other piston. We've got a couple of them left. Um, we will get more of them in the future. But for now, we need to make... Oh, I forgot to get... Uh, one of them and three wood so let's see if I can quickly you on this and find piston which oh, they need this one first don't we why did you go in there so there there and there so we now have our piston to make more of our output variables which we have five now which is good and we only have one left of them so we need a block reader so we need four dirt so one block reader and oh that's network reader that was used wasn't it so we need Two sticks, and oh, that only gives us six. Okay, I'll make another set. Uh, no, we need more of them, so we should be able to break that down then. And there we go, we got nine, just in case. Now we need to do this. So we need three of that will do. One, two, three. Okay. We have eight of them. Ooh, we may need more. I think we actually need one more of these. And we're back to having this low. So let's just quickly go make one more. So reset this. Jump on this. And squeeze it out. Done. We have this. Done. Okay, so break this down, grab 
Oh, we had a paper. Nope, there it is. Paper. Um, you, 24. I can't believe I used 24. I probably used a lot in building as well. So let's go do this. So we can just go like this with this because this is the way it's going to happen anyway. And that's connected now. And since I connected it, that's going to go nuts by placing all this. So that's going to get full, but that's fine. We'll not have a worry about that for now. So if we quickly fill in this side, so it don't look so derpy. Okay, so we need a reader here, a writer there, a writer there, and a writer there. Then we need the block reader there. Identical. This can't pick it up because of that. Hopefully this is constantly sending a signal as true. So true. So this will pick it up. I will fix this in a minute where I'll link them together to push. But at the moment I don't want to. Um, um, uh, I'll just do this. So go away. And I want to actually what's in there the crystallized oil. So okay, so now I want if this has air so it should be the same as this one here. Uh, I don't know if it actually tells you what's what yeah this one has air. So if that has air, read it as a constant variable. So grab that and that, then put it in here and make it a equals. So if that equals that, write that. And then you go in here and then you go block block so this one actually is around the wrong way this should be first so if we do this and then we switch this and then we can yeah make sure air air okay um, I don't think I actually need that no, it can't or no it goes uh, if that equals air send red sig redstone signal to that so to that so that's true so that's going to be try and send a signal to that but we want to set it to can I actually set it as pulse I don't know I'm sure that I could set it that as pulse, so it will pulse until that is true, and that will keep it running, but that's fine, we can do that. Now we want to do crystallized oil. Which didn't work. Should work. Variable 11 and 12 equals variable 13. Variable 11 and 12, so if that block equals air, then send it to here. Um, false. Oh, huh. Um, yeah, no, that's Floored Placer. And that's on Pulse. I wonder why that changed. I didn't tell it to do that. And done.
Okay. Ah, oh, because that's on pulse as well, and uh, pulse, pulse, and pulse. Okay, so it's default deactivation, which is fine. So I can do that back in there. Now, um, actually, I need that to pulse because I need that down. There we go. Now I want to go crystallized as a constant so if crystallized equals the constant we write to the uh, so variable store this Okay, so let's go you in there. And there we go. Okay, so that is working. And then the last one is actually can't do because we need to set up this. Um, A four give me more and bam now this will uh, actually I can just throw that in there gives me empowered now this if this equals empowered constant set it up as if it is a true oh my god now that will clear itself and then this is the last iteration of it pick this bad boy up done so now that will rinse and repeat so that is fully set up then this will be piped out into the generators in here so there we go um, I don't know how many generators I'll set up but that is pretty much how we'll have it for now so I'll just finish this off oh no I won't because I don't have enough anyway that is all good now so this will constantly be full this one will be full this one is full so now I just need to join them together so you will cross like this uh, and I don't have a servo because I used it under this um, I need some more item ducks so here, um, like this, and I need that water back, so, and give me some water. Good. I know, I know, no. Please don't sing. Don't need to kill me over it. So, over uh, here. Yes. Here, 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 here. 
here, here, and here, and then like that. Okay, turn you off now. And there we go. Now I need two servos and some more hardens. But it is wrapping up point now. So thank you everybody uh, for watching. Why hasn't that picked up? That is crystallized oil. Break something. Oh, it auto pushed out to it. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Okay, it's wrapping up twenty time. We'll continue on with the next episode and we'll work out why that happened there. Later's have fun.